starting site here at uh, Wedgwood Complex in Kloof, just uh, up the road from another site we're on. We are currently removing these mattresses. As you can see, they are rusted away. They've been here for about 10 years. And uh, they've previously used shade cloth netting as a geotextile behind or underneath the baskets. And we try to get a bit of it's all rusted away so we're replacing these with new pvc coated mattresses four meters wide as opposed um, to the three meters that is there currently we're doing four meters from left to right and six meters long ways um, this is phase one and then phase two they'll extend it at a later stage going down but this is the runoff from the road that's further above it should take about one or two days to do two days at most with neatening up and finishing off Day two at Ridgewood Complex in Kloof. Our final ground prep is done. We've placed our geotextile, placed our mattresses, busy doing final amendments on it. As you can see, we have our blue pipe coming through into the mattress. We're going to place rocks around it just so the pipe is not underneath the mattress and exposed on top to get damaged. It's with inside. We have our nice little curvature there, the water pipes coming out and the mattresses protruding beyond and underneath the pipes. So the water is falling onto the mattress and not in front or behind the mattress on that side. We're just binding the mattresses together over here. Going to neaten up the geotextile and then we are going to start packing Day three of sites at the Wedgwood complex in Kloof. We have completed three units of 4x1x0.3 by underneath the outlet pipes there. We are busy with the last two sections of the fourth 4x1x0.3. Four by by Once we are done that, Two more mattresses are going to come lining up here being tied into these baskets and then started to pack our bottoms there we're going to re landscape this section here so the soil comes onto meets top of the, the mattress we like uh, installing or inserting smaller rocks just to get into the little spaces between the bigger rocks as you can see here we have more rock on its way but this rock will be enough to finish these mattresses now we'll also just focus on the little voids behind the mattress here we'll uh, pack that with the old rock that's sitting over there and with soil, get it nice and tight. And we're going to aim to finish this mattress here today. If not, then tomorrow. And neaten up and finish off. And that's our baskets, our, mat our river lining mattress protection at the Wedgwood complex in Cliff. <laughs> 